Space is truly the final frontier with many wondrous planets and stars waiting to be discovered. In Stellaris though, outer space is pretty lackluster, and that's why in today's video I will go through a short list of mods which should make the Stellaris galaxy more diverse by adding new celestial objects and other things to the game. Now before we get into the video, most of my viewers are not subscribed and we are trying to reach a thousand subscribers, so if you'd like to see more videos like this on the channel then subscribe and like the video. So without further ado, let's get into the mods. The first mod that I have on the list is Hypothetical Stars by Nuvilas. It is a really simple one and adds 7 new types of stars that are hypothetical objects not yet confirmed by science. With this mod, you'll be now able to find white holes. They are basically the complete opposite of black holes, which means that they cannot be entered from the outside, although energy, matter, light and information can escape from it. You can also find strange stars, which consist of strange quarks, and many new hypothetical stars. I really like this mod because even though it's mostly cosmetic it's still able to spark your interest while exploring the galaxy and I like its unique concept. Next we have APSR, Anomalies, Planetary and Space Resources, which adds 24 very unique planets to the game. What I really like about this mod is that all planets have their own unique themes and this mod is just excellent for role-playing. Like for example you may find ancient worlds previously inhabited by mysterious ancient civilizations for instance, you can find the mining complex of the Asians, a ruined mining facility, the immortal megalopolis, a planet covered by an ancient ecumenopolis, or the Great Hall, a throne world of an ancient long gone civilization. Some planets, on the other hand, represent unique anomalous environments, or they just possess a feature that makes the planet stand out, such as the Abyss, a planet with very deep, never ending chasms, or the Firefly Swarm, a planet which, as the name suggests, is inhabited by fireflies. Also, so plants added by this mod have their own special buildings that offer very powerful bonuses, so if you happen to stumble upon them in your playthrough then you should definitely colonize them. And this mod not only adds new planets but it also brings new relics, stories, etc. So it is definitely worth checking out. We're going back to star related mods with real space. This mod brings dozens and dozens of new star types to the game and it makes Stellaris more scientifically accurate and realistic as in vanilla there is only a couple star classes present in the game. It adds protostars, novas, microquasars, magnetars, planetary nebulas and many many more. It also implements new stellar classes based on their size, so now you'll be able to find tiny dwarfs and humongous hypergiants and anything in between. Besides that the newly added star types look amazing and you can get so many stunning screenshots, just take a look at the material. Now I'm pretty sure that you already expected this mod to be here. Planetary diversity is the best when it comes to adding new habitable plant classes and it makes the galaxy more biologically diverse and just a lot more interesting. It adds all sorts of plants, regular ones, bizarre exotic plants with dangerous environments and unique one-of-a-kind planets. I also made a full video on it so you should go check it out if you want to learn more about this amazing mod. Now the last mod we have on the list doesn't add any new plants or stars to the game but instead adds dozens of new modifiers for all celestial objects. Julie's plants modifiers and features ties in very well with the aforementioned mods, especially planetary diversity. Some modifiers better describe the conditions present on different planets. Like this planet for example has a thin ozone layer and this one has unique marine life forms. Some modifiers on the other hand represent unique features and they give plants their own unique works. For example, this planet is cursed and this one apparently has an android pleasure palace. Fallen Empire colonies also get very powerful modifiers and precursor related worlds get them as well and some of them even have their own additional graphical elements. This mod not only adds new modifiers, you also get new relics, archaeological sites and anomalies which makes exploring the galaxy in Stellaris a lot more interesting. Now if you want me to cover one of the mods mentioned in this video or if there is a mod that you want me to talk about in general, please let me know down in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I hope you like this new approach to mod videos, and you can always check out my other mod related videos and my modded roleplay series. I will see you soon in another video, and goodbye, have a nice day.